welcome to the virtual room. My name is Jack Harrison. Today I'm bringing you another shaving video, and my choice of soap today is going to be pretty new. And this is Lofa Grooming. I don't know if you can see that. And the scent is Oregon. Oh, phone focus. There we go. Um, Oregon is a dupe of Comme des Garçons uh, Wonderwood. Um, Johnny's intention here was just to make a scent that's woody. Uh, I think he hit the hit the nail on the head, quite frankly. So I actually have a, uh, I have the perfume sprayed on my arm on the dry down. Uh, and the, the biggest thing I would say, quite frankly, um, as far as like the scent profile goes, Johnny's version in the soap, um, the, the base notes are definitely much more pronounced. Uh, the base notes are quite sweet. I think it's amber and another sweet note. I can't quite remember, but this is much more base heavy than the actual fragrance itself. And I actually prefer the scent of the soap to the scent of the fragrance. Um, the scent of the soap, you get like a good amount of citrus at to on the top. And that's kind of like adding to the slight zinginess of the wood. But the wood is kind of, it's elevated slightly by those base notes I just spoke about. The perfume, on the other hand, it's quite boring. Um, I'm not actually a fan of the perfume, really. Um, for me, it just smells of wood. Uh, yeah, it just smells of wood, and it just doesn't excite me. The base notes in this are much more noticeable in the soap, and I actually just prefer the soap. Um, the soap is very nice. This is definitely a keeper for me. Um, slight bit of sweetness, nice dry, woody nature, and a little bit of citrus on top kind of ideal in terms of a good scent profile for me. I've got some coffee here, so let me take a sip. This has been uh, brewed in a Chemex. Oh. oh delicious. Okay. Um, that's my razor idea. So my razor to your choice today is my Philharmonica 1516th, the Trida. Um, we're going to be shaving with that. And the brush I'm going to be lathering this incredible soap with is my Decoration B6, and this is in the Autumn Glory handle. Let's get the specs off, let's get to lathering. Um, the scent here, in terms of scent strength, is probably about a 6. Um, if you smell the original Calm, it reminds me a bit of that in terms of potency. And quite frankly, Calm was perfect for me in terms of potency, so I have no complaints there. Yeah, this is... Compared to the perfume, there's much more sweetness. It's just something that is uh, complementing the wood as opposed to just being woody. And uh, I think... I prefer Johnny's version of the fragrance, quite frankly. I would say if you've been looking for like a safe bet from Lofa, this is your, this is your pick. No Neroli, nothing particularly challenging in here. No florals. Just a woody, masculine, slightly sweet. Fragrance. It's really nice. It doesn't personally excite me as much as Namka does. Because I think... I mean, Namka broke ground, really, in the shaving scene. I've never smelt something with an Udacord quite as realistic as that. This is also high quality. The soap base is just phenomenal. And uh, like I said, I think this is your safe bet. The, the actual fragrance of Wonderwood from Comme des Garçons is not it's also not your challenging fragrance. I, I'd actually call it like a dinner fragrance in the sense that it's not too bold and banging. 
It's like this classy man's fragrance. It's, I'd say it's unisex too, quite frankly. But, as are most things, in my opinion. But no, this, uh, this is a great soap. Um, I find myself using this soap more times than not using this soap. Because it's so good. Um, it just lathers so well. It's slick as heck. The post shave is just out of this world. Like I said in my like my Namco video, because it was the first release with a splash. You don't need a splash with this. Um, Johnny's developed the post shave on this soap to be so high quality. Um, with the use of some good cosmetic grade ingredients. And because of that, you're just awarded with this ridiculous post shave. Um, there are no soap bases for me that really come near to the post shave of this. And if post shave isn't important to you, then disregard everything I'm saying here. But it, but it, it, it's, it's true. I'm, I'm talking you through my experiences of the soap itself. It's actually hydrated enough already. Look at that. Uh, stunning. So we're gonna paint this last bit a little bit on. Beautiful. Okay, let's do the mustache. The scent is... It's definitely noticeable on your face. You can smell it. Um, like it's not... It's not hiding away or anything. It's not the strongest scent. Like again, comparing to Namco or black, even if you've smelled black. Black is bold and banging. This isn't uh, as bold and banging, but it's definitely prominent. Like it's not, it's not like a two out of 10 or anything. I'd say it deserves a six, possibly a five. Um, but it's, it's still noticeable. Fantastic. Cool. We have lathered up successfully. Let's get to shaving now, shall we? So let's uh, drain the sink. Let's do first pass. These blades are just absurd. It must be something related to the still. Fantastic. Yeah, definitely the safe bet, in my opinion, from Lofa at the moment. I'm looking forward to trying white from the Razor Company, uh, also in collaboration with Lofer. I said Lofer, it's actually pronounced Lofer, like uh, loafers. Um. I believe it's Danish for lather, loafer, which is a cool name. Nah, this is a smooth as hell razor. The soap is just very good. I encourage anyone to kind of give it a try. Find a scent that works for you and just give the soap a try. You'll notice the quality. Let's go left hand. I think I said this prior, but like, 
I use the test soap bases before they come out, like well in advance. And they were good, but not as good as this. This at this point, as I said earlier, like, oh. is the soap I use two times out of three. I I have so much, so much of it, but. It's great, great stuff. That's our first pass done. Very easy, great residual slickness where lather wasn't there. That's kind of what you want from a modern soap in my opinion. Good all round performance. Easy laverability. You don't have to be there forever, trying to create a lather with it. Um, I don't personally like soaps that are too soft. This is pretty normal for me at this point. How soft this soap is, like it's not... It ain't, you know... Think of it, McDuff soft. McDuff's is annoyingly soft. And it actually annoys me how soft that soap base is, quite frankly. For me, it detracts from the soap. Like, I, I, I don't want something that... Is that annoying to load? More some, some more coffee here. Oh. Delicious. What what coffee scents have you guys smelled? I've not smelled many. I've, I've smelt Wake the Fuck Up by a &E. Um, There's a couple others. I guess Earth of Mankind has a coffee element to it, but it's not, not really coffee forward for me. It's more spice forward. Dude, it's just... It just feels so good on the face. Yeah, I have white on the way, the uh, collab from the Razor Company. I'm really happy what Jason from the Razor Company is doing, by the way, with Lofa. He's um, just getting more eyes on the, on the company, and I think that's a good thing. Jason is a fantastic part of our community, in my opinion. Okay, let's go across grain, slash against the grain. Be honest guys, it doesn't really feel like I'm shaving. It just feels so smooth. That's just not that's not just the soap either, the razors. These these philharmonicas. I'd have a den full of philharmonicas and be perfectly happy. They just shave so frickin' well. If you're a straight razor guy. and haven't tried one of these, I just, I can't recommend them enough. There's just something about the way this steel is done that is very unique. Switch to our left hand now, guys. It's a bit wet. Just bring a towel over here. And I hope you're all doing well.
I'm trying to make a concerted effort to get on camera as much as I can. So you've probably noticed that the volume of videos increased for me over the last week or two. That is intentional. I don't shave like every day like I used to. It's pretty much every two days now or so. But uh, I found that kind of works best for me. Brilliant. Brilliant. Can get along this jaw. Awesome. I think, to be honest, guys, that's the shave. I don't need to shave too much more. If I need to clean up a little bit, I'll do it off camera. But uh, the razor, the soap, the brush, even, just remarkable. Let's get this loose lather and uh, I'll see you guys for the post. Clean up the gear and do all that jazz. I'll see you in a minute. Be right back. Look at that. Man. Oh, hey guys, welcome back. It's a great shave. Let's clean my razor slightly. Actually, I, I did that, so we can leave that one. Um, let's get on with the post then. So. Loaf of Grooming's Oregon Splash. Now, I've not smelt this yet, so I'm very curious to see how it smells in relation to the soap. I have a feeling it's probably going to smell a bit more like the perfume. And, hmm. Nope, it smells more like the soap, which is a big win for me. Yeah, that is just better than the soap. I mean, than, than the perfume. Um... Again, that those bass notes are more noticeable. The scent is a bit sweeter, slightly more gourmand leaning, and it's not a gourmand, so I, it's just gourmand leaning because of those like sweeter notes. But yeah, what's a shave? Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video today. Let me show you what I use, and I'll let you guys go as always. My soap of choice today was the fantastic Loaf of Grooming, and the scent was Oregon, which is where I live, so that's, that's pretty cool. Um, the original, uh, the, the original, what's the word, inspiration behind this scent was a, um, a type of wood native to Oregon. So that's, that's kind of why that happened and that had the matching splash with it. My brush of choice today was the Declaration B6 with the Autumn Glory handle. My longest standing brush, believe it or not. And my razor was my Philharmonica Trida um, r ridiculously good razor. I'm really happy with this. If you're a straight razor person and don't have a Philharmonica, I couldn't recommend them enough. The steel is just very unique. And the coffee of choice I'm drinking today is a single origin Guatemala, um, made in Chemex. Really good. If you do want a, an alternative way to support the channel, find a link in the description below for buy me a coffee. Uh, donate whatever you want. It just goes towards my coffee addiction and my coffee fund, keeps me caffeinated. You're not obligated to, just thought I'd bring it up. But yeah, my name is Jack, your host from the Virtual Groom Room. Wherever you are in the world, have a wonderful day. And goodbye for now.